what's up everyone today I'm going to show you how to set up world edit for your server first you just need to load it in here links will be provided in this description let me start the server as usual so once that's loaded in we just stop it go over to the plugins and open the world edit config file Here's the, it's a lot of choices to like configure. Um, I don't usually configure a lot of this. Here's like maximum blocks change and everything. Minus one just equals um, that you can have unlimited. Like here maximum. I like to have a lot of space to work with um, if you have like a large server it might be better to have a limit if you have a lot of admins and uh, because once you have a large server if uh, a lot of people use it at once you can crash the server also if you do uh, large scale um, editing at once Navigation wand, maximum distance a thousand. And here's where you save the schematics. You can make your own folder if you would like, but it's easier to use this. Uh, size 20. Here's the tool you have as a wand. So if you have a regular survival world, uh, you might not want it to be the wooden axe. If you like, would use it in a world. So then you can change it to something you don't use as often or don't use at all. Command blocks support. I don't usually use command blocks, but it's nice to have it enabled for. Sometimes I use it. Or else I like to have everything just prefixed like this. Uh, because they have like a nice configure already. But if you would like to change some of this. Uh, everything stands here. Or else I can link the wiki to this down below. There you have all the commands. And... It's a lot nicer to just look at the wiki instead of uh, having to guess the commands. And we just go back to starting the server and open Minecraft. So, once the server is loaded in, I'm just going to set my game mode to creative. Um, I'm where I left up uh, last time, as you can see. If you just slash, slash, and wand. Normally, all the world edit commands uses two uh, slashes instead of one. Uh, I'm just going to use some basic commands at first. Like, maybe here. And over here. Left click, you set the first position as shown here. And right click is the second position. What this basically means is, if I set this to here you can see it goes from the left clicked posi position and over to the right clicked position and then it will create a box of sorts and that's just if you do it like this but we can also change it to water I think and then you can see you just basically fill everything with water now, if we go into the water and use slash drain and just take like two, then it's draining it like two blocks within. But if we take 20, everything disappears. So if you have like a large water or something and you would like to remove that in your world for some reason, you can use this command to drain a lot of water at once. Then you like don't have to struggle with water or lava or whatever. 
it works on both water and lava. Then we're going to try H cell, a hollow cylinder, I think it's called, and then uh, obsidian. And then the size, I believe. Yeah. So if we take 5 and 5, you can see it goes higher. So basically what this means is, this is a hollow cylinder. This is one of the commands you can use. This is the material it uses. And, and this is the radius uh, it will go. Like, I believe this is 5 blocks. Yeah, looks like it and from your standing position and the second number is the height so if i use it here it just comes up like in the middle of the air it can be useful useful if you're building a castle or something for your server and if you would like a tower then you have like a basic tower to go as a starting point and then you can make it nicer as you go along if I just try stone, so we just go uh, stone bricks. And I like stone bricks to make castles with or uh, and broken stone bricks and just fill it in. And if we take stone bricks and take a comma behind it, uh, we can take stone uh, stone slab there you go it will randomize it so as you can see it's some slabs and some bricks and this works with a lot of blocks and it will create a random pattern as you can see so if you want a large wall with different blocks and you don't want to fill it in manually or not good at making it kind of look random, you can always use this. And it also works with multiple blocks here. So if I would like obsidian also in the mix, you see that now I have a cylinder in uh, obsidian. But this is a hollow cylinder. And that's what the H means. So if we take away the H, now we have a regular cylinder. The problem is you're being trapped. But here we have like a massive cylinder. Then we have the sphere. I will use the hollow sphere. Um, the hollow sphere, you have to remove the height because it goes same in all directions this is nice if you're going to build like a planet far away or some sort of decoration or anything then you have like a nice starting point as mentioned before then we can go down here and change this to uh, hollow pyramid and then we get a nice little pyramid and always um, this is the radius so if you would like a bigger pyramid if I set it to 20 you can see it's a lot bigger and that's because it takes 20 blocks from the center and out so it will be a lot larger for every number and you can scale it up a lot uh, so I would like to have like an exit point so um, we take it here and let's say 50 you see down in the left corner 10,000 blocks have been changed so it, it it's a large scale and if you're hosting uh, the server on your own computer the larger commands you use the more powerful uh, server you will need so if you have a small server with not a lot of power you will need to um, uh, take smaller commands. You can test it yourself because um, 
what happens when you take a too large command is um, it basically just crashes the server. Forest again. I'm trying to generate a forest now. We can go for a birch forest. And what size? Um, let's say 100. And then the density, maybe 10. So I put this in the wrong um, wrong order. So air three thousand four hundred and forty six trees have been generated. So yeah, this was a lot larger than I thought. But anyways you can generate a large forest just by doing this. And we also have a command um, slash remove. And then you can remove a lot of stuff like XP lying on the ground and DNT items, boats. So if you take all of them and radius 10 you see, there's none of those nearby, but um, if we'll just get a boat and then try this command, you see it removed one entity. If I take it up to 100, it will remove the entity I just threw on the uh, ground. I have another command, if we take brush, sphere, bedrock perhaps, and 10. Oh, I already have something bind to this. Then I have to take brush, unbind, and then you remove whatever's bind to your brush, or, or just tool. And then if I set this, I should have it. When I right click on a block, it creates a sphere of bedrock with the radius of 10. So anyways, if we try again, brush. Uh, for the forest, I believe we have to leave and join again. But we can set. Again, I'm messing it up. Set, um, then yeah, cylinder, and I don't know uh, what material. Here's all of the materials we can use. Uh, Prismarine. I'm um, sorry, in between here it should be the radius or the size. Okay, so I typed it wrong with this little thing. So now, as you can see, I can press it and it just takes Prismarine all over the place. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have gone through a lot of commands and I have I could probably make this an hour long video just by commands and uh, different config files or how you can make it into whatever. It's a lot of stuff you can do with this plugin. It's a lot to learn. But just by the basics that like I showed you now and the stuff you can find on the wiki. You have a lot uh, just you can generate a lot of stuff by that. So yeah. Please leave a like down below if you like the video and share it to your friends if they might like it. Bye.